How did I never notice him before? He's been there this whole time. Or has he? Did the opening change? I think I just haven't been paying attention. There's so many things here that I didn't notice before. It means a lot more to me now, I should say. Da -da. That's a lot of characters. <laughs> Can you tell us what it's like to work so closely with All Might? I'm uh, um, sorry, I have to go to the uh, the nurse's office. Yeah. Yeah, the school is a media spectacle. His leadership and wisdom remind me on a daily basis that I attend the world's most prestigious education. There you go. That's what I was looking for. Thank you, Ida. The personification of honor and integrity that we yes. expect. Yes. Yes. It's truly a unique opportunity to be under the direct tutelage of the What is wrong with these reporters? This is exactly that what? That was a great answer. That's the kind of glowing recommendation I wanted to hear cuz that's how I feel. <laughs> Nailed it, Ida. Nailed it. Excuse me, kid. These reporters just weren't ready. Class? Oh, hold on. Aren't you that oh, no. Kid? oh no, that's how he's known? Also, you look like a mess. What's your deal? All <laughs> on campus today. I've seen that guy somewhere before. Where? Mm. I don't know, but he's a bit scruffy for a hero. This makes me wonder what other superheroes think about All Might. What's so amazing about this world and so interesting is that it's not just about heroism. This is an industry. In fact, it seems like in many ways it's taken the, the place of celebrities. They are the celebrities. So I can imagine other heroes having issues with All Might on multiple fronts. Like, for one, he's the guy to beat in terms of career. He's the ultimate. He's the All Mighty. <laughs> I'm sorry. But also, if you're a purist, if you're a purist hero, you might take issue with the fact that he has all this merchandise and things like that and all these deals and is so in the spotlight when maybe heroism does not necessarily require attention. In fact, I feel like some people would get confused about that where they f they feel so strongly about it that they think the attention cheapens the, the actual heroism, even if those are two different things. How does All Might ever get anything done with this media circus stepping on his cape? Seems to be avoiding them pretty well. I feel like this is important. This gate is yeah, the yeah. Barrier. Ooh, that means the school's gonna get attacked. We're setting this up for a reason. Good reason. And it makes sense, right? Like, you would definitely need this. These kids would be targets. Naturally, the media swarmed the school in search of a story. Isn't there enough going on in this world, story-wise? There's just so much happening. Yeah. Oh, is that Hands Guy? Everyone. Hands Guy Ray? <sighs> yeah, just do your best, Ida. Nice. Are we gonna get an Ida episode? You're talented. So don't sulk like a child about your loss, okay? Wow, yeah, surprisingly kind. Midoriya, work harder, and don't give me the excuse <laughs> that you don't have control over your quirk. But your quirk will be really useful if you can get a handle on it. <laughs> nice, this validated a lot of my feelings or my suspicions about Aizawa. He does have their best interest at heart, he does care. Also, something was pointed out to me that I think I didn't fully get about him when he was introduced. I wasn't focusing enough on the fact that Aizawa doesn't know that Deku just got his power, so of course it's reasonable to be concerned for him in this school where everyone is expected to have had their powers all this time and to be a little bit more developed or advanced with them. Deku died in that bomb simulation, and I made a joke about how, well, there's day two, only four more years left, right? But that's, that's true. They have four more years left, so that is definitely a risk for Deku. You just can't exist like this. This is not a life. This is not a student life. Imagine if every time you had a history test, it broke your arm. Our first task will decide your future. <laughs> no pressure. You all need to pick a class representative. Oh, yeah. I want to be class rep. I'll take it. Yeah, you're going to need me. It's got to be Ida. It's got to be Ida. But here in the hero course, there's more to it. It's a way to get noticed by I'm surprised Bakugo wants to be the representative. Like a real pro. Silence, everyone, please. You got the job. <laughs> he earned it right now. The most logical way to fill this position is democratically. We will hold an election <laughs> that face. So intense. It's the best way, right, sir? Do what you want. Just decide before my nap's over. Thank you for your time. Napping in class, huh? No, it's Ida. I vote for Ida. I'm surprised so many people want it. This must also be a cultural thing. I mean, for me, it's kind of meh. Like, I don't want to be the class representative. It just ties me to school way, way more than I want to be tied to it. But Ida is the right choice. He's the only choice. One thing I really like about Ida so far is that even if he can be annoying to some people, you know where he stands. You're always gonna know where he stands because he's gonna tell it to you. <laughs> he's gonna tell it to you in a lot of detail, but that that's great. I feel like there's a beauty to that in people's character when they are just themselves and you know who they are very quickly. And you also know that he is a great person to have in your corner because he's not afraid to speak his mind or advocate for the things he cares about. Literally, that's how he was introduced, right? He was complaining about something in the manual. I can't remember, in the orientation. I want someone like Ida in my corner, for sure. And he's already leading too. Huh. Oh, people voted for Deku, yeah. Hey, you idiots! Who voted 
for him. What, did you honestly think anyone was gonna vote for you? Oof. Zero votes? Oh no! What is wrong with you people? But I can't argue with the system I chose! Alright, the class rep is Midoriya. And our deputy what? is Yao Yorosu. Interesting choice. This is why democracy fails. <laughs> it's always so crowded in here. That's because students in the support, management, and hero courses all share the same cafeteria. Wait, what? What were the different courses? So there's also support and management. Interesting. Your courage and quick thinking under stress will help make you a worthy leader. Not to mention the strength you've demonstrated. Those are the reasons I voted for you. Ah, uh, he's also good at noticing other people's strengths. He's very giving of praise. Wanting a job and being suited to it are quite different things. Observing the Ida family's hero agency has taught me that much. Agency? The Idas have been pro-heroes for generations. Interesting. That's why he's so concerned about honoring his family. Are the two of you familiar with the turbo hero in Ginium? I know all about him! He's a you do. popular pro with 65 sidekicks. 65 sidekicks. He's my elder brother. I can't believe it! Ingenium is an unmatched commander who honors the hero code. Looks pretty cool. I think it might be a bit soon for me to be in a real leadership role. You, for example. So humble. You figured out what the judges were looking for in the practical exam. I don't think Deku really thought about it. Ah, but this sort of fits though. I think a lot of the times when people are that analytical or that observant and maybe therefore more critical is that they internalize at a very young age the message that they have to pay very close attention to their surroundings for survival. That maybe their place in the world was not stable or solid. And that actually fits with Ida because in a family of legendary people, including an older brother, he may have worried about measuring up where he may have had to find ways to get attention or something like that, which will come up early to being very observant about others and the way things were working and things like that. It's a survival mechanism. And that can be a risk when people grow up because they carry that into adulthood. And in a way, they see everything as a risk. And so they're overly clenched and tight. But it also has tremendous benefits, which is that they can be really good at reflection, really good at figuring things out, which Ida seems to be. One of the great things about that scene is that he seems actually quite humble. He's aware of his own shortcomings, which I think is great if properly applied. It just seems like he's going a little bit too far down that road where he's not properly valuing himself and his abilities. People like that, I feel, are sometimes afraid of their own success because they're, they're afraid that if they let go for a minute, if they let go of the fear of this idea that they have to control all variables for safety, that they'll slip into oblivion, which of course is not the case, right? Yeah, yeah, so about that practical exam. What is that? Warning, level three security breach. No. Are they under attack? That happened faster than I thought. I thought that would be like down the road. This hasn't happened in my three years here. We should get going. I'm wondering when the seniors or upperclassmen will become a part of the show, too. So hard. This is not a very heroic. Everyone was quick to react, as I'd expect from you, students. Sure. But they're panicking. Yeah, yeah. This is perhaps a great teaching moment, teaching opportunity. It's the press that was outside. All you have to do is give us all might. Is that all it is? Or is someone using this as a way to get in? Is this really a false alarm? Are they setting us up? Is this gonna be like the boy who cried wolf? They are trespassing. That means they're kinda like villains. <laughs> this guy's just waiting for a chance to destroy them. There's no reason for us to be panicking. Take charge, Ida. <laughs> this is a very interesting action scene. Touch my hand. Oh yeah, she can make him float. This is gonna end with him being student representative. Nice calves. I <laughs> uh, can't believe I just said that, but here we are. This is it. Be concise, clear, and confident. Make an impact. Listen up. Everything is okay. <gasps> We're UA students! School representative, <laughs> not just class representative. Look, the police are here! Thank goodness. Deku also can recognize people's good qualities. That's something they have in common. Okay, so we need to figure out who the other class officers will be. But first, there's something that I want to say. I'm stepping down. Ida's stepping up. And I think that Tenya Ida should be our class rep. Duh. <laughs> yeah, you know what? If Midoriya vouches for him, I'm good. <laughs> they just love Midoriya. Did you notice he looked like the dude on the emergency exit signs when he was on the wall earlier? I didn't, but that's kind of cool. I don't care who the rep is, <laughs> just hurry up. Yeah, he's not one for formalities. That's why he's napping in class. How were ordinary members of the press able to bypass our security systems? I bet it was a test. Someone else must have been behind this. Is that the guy from Adventure Time? But was this purely a show of power? Or a declaration of war? Yes. <laughs> or just like a, you know, like I said, a test, seeing if it works. That's only half the episode. I feel like we just, 
I feel like that was a full episode already. I got that warm and fuzzy feeling inside like I usually get from the show. I was ready to pack it in, but now we got more. <laughs> One step closer and I'll kill this whole family. What is this thing? Yeah, he does make it look really easy. I shouldn't be late for school, but I can't. <laughs> yeah, how does he do it all? He did say that, right? Time is every hero's greatest enemy or something like that. It's tough, like, how do you choose when to turn your back on problems? Oh no! Weakening even faster since I gave one for all to young Midoriya. I was worried about that. He didn't take you seriously, so I don't think he'll say anything. This time I'll let things slide. What's done is done anyway. If word got out that one for all could be passed on, villains across the globe would come for you trying to take it. Yes, it could fall into the wrong hands for sure. Even if he is a more suitable vessel now, he's still a 15 year old boy. I have to make sure I guide him well. Having this inner monologue while saving the world. Yeah, you just can't do it all. You'll have three instructors. Me, All Might, and another faculty member will be keeping tabs on you. I like where this is going. <laughs> Gather round class 1A! Using your student numbers form two neat lines so we can load the bus efficiently! Oh no. <laughs> I'm realizing the downside of this. We just gave Ida a lot of power. <laughs> Too much power. He's the kind of guy that you shouldn't give a whistle to. That power of yours, isn't it a lot like All Might? <laughs> Ooh, very observant. You so, huh? You're forgetting All Might doesn't hurt himself. That makes a huge difference. Now the idea's out there. People are gonna figure it out. Seems like it'd be easier to be a popular hero if I had something flashier. Like a giant ass. <laughs> sure, but Bakugo's always angry, so he'll never be that popular. Oh no. <laughs> we basically just met you, so it's kind of telling that we all know your personality is flaming crap mixed with garbage. Oh, this is so, like, oh my god, this is so bad for Bakugo. The Deku thing is one thing, but he used to be popular. He's losing his self-image in just every way. Everything he valued is gone. He's not the strongest, and people don't like him. That big fish thing is, is really not working right now. And people smell blood. There's blood in the water. They're going after him. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Kachan's the one in class who's getting teased. Yeah, it's totally reversed. And Deku's the, the idol. Yeah, but it's kind of fun listening to them fight. Hey, hey, we're here. Stop okay. messing around. It's the space hero, 13. The chivalrous pro who's rescued a ton of people from disasters across the world. Interesting design. He looks like the Michelin man. It looks like some kind of amusement park. <laughs> Again, who is funding all this? A landslide, a fire, a windstorm, etc. You know, all right, so all my jokes about the economy, it's been pointed out to me multiple times that quirks can also be used to create, which sort of neutralizes that. Another way to look at it is that if there's this much money being pumped into the system, that might mean that it actually is productive overall. Either it's about to collapse and fail, or it actually is beneficial. Let me guess, he booked an interview instead. Actually, it's something Salty else. much? Apparently he did too much hero work on the way to school this morning and used up all his power. I'll be there as this soon is not going to get easier. That it's going to get worse. The height of irresponsibility. You don't know. I'm sure you're aware that I have a powerful quirk. It's called Black Hole. Oh my god. So it's terribly dangerous. You've used Black Hole to save people from all kinds of disasters before, haven't you? That's true. And I've created them too. It could also very easily be used to kill. <laughs> yeah, the world. Thanks to Aizawa's fitness tests, you have a solid idea of your quirk's potential. And because of All Might's combat training, you likely experienced how dangerous your powers can be when used against other people. They've gotten a good education in two days, <laughs> or three days. You won't be using your powers to attack enemies or each other, only to help. After all, Imagine that's four years of this, damn. All about. Ensuring the safety of others. Imagine if actual school was this useful. Imagine if like each day in school represented, you know, an actual thing that benefited your life. It seems like the value placed on practical skills is not just Aizawa. It seems like a school-wide thing, which is awesome. Now that that's over. Are there going to be bad teachers at this school, I wonder? That would be more realistic. <laughs> What's happening? This looks like a villain. Stay together and don't move. 13. Protect the students. Oof. Um, yeah, this is not training. That is a lot of villains. We thought we were going to be practicing saving other people's lives that day. Saving your own. We realized we were the ones in danger. Yeah, yeah. No! <laughs> Damn it! 
Man, the show hasn't really cliffhanger me that much, but well, I can't complain. Like, that was so much in that episode. The whole first half felt like an episode into itself with Ida. Nice little mini story there. Also set up in this episode was the security system, the lurking danger, the media pressure, and the fact that All Might is kind of slipping, which is scary. And it hurts. It hurts to see people that you admire having difficulty, you know, because his heart is there. His heart's in the right place, but really you can only do so much. Especially for him who seems like he's, he's literally losing his power. In fact, he's kind of a danger to himself in a way. And, you know, you wonder, where is the line exactly? He talks about self-sacrifice, but I feel like you can push that too far. Because if you go all the way there to the point where you see yourself as expendable, you get to the point where you're just wiped out and you're no longer doing any good. But that's challenging because for someone like All Might, how do you say no to doing the good that you can see, you know? And maybe the answer to that is something that I've thought about previously, which is that I think the solution is not to have All Might be the one that we rely on for everything. The point is for more people to embody some of those traits that All Might has. Has, even if they don't have the powers because that creates more of like a, a web you know like Roy Mustang's famous thing about each person taking care of others and that rippling out into the world one for all seems somewhat vertical and maybe we need some more horizontal maybe we need more adoption of these kinds of things but very fun that the villain is making an appearance and actually being a part of the show I thought in that post credit scene that that was a preview of something that would maybe happen later but this is happening pretty quickly which is cool so another really fun episode one thing I'm noticing that I think the show does well is a lot of the characters I have kind of an, a negative reaction to at first or some of them I should say but the more I get to know them the more I like them like I had a very strong reaction to Bakugo in the first episode and then I feel like I sort of figured him out to a point where I really like him now and Ida is the same Ida I had a very strong reaction to but Ida he actually has a lot of heart like he's a good kid his extra Internal traits can be a little bit grating, but he's a pure heart, good heart. I like that. I think he's a, he's a great ally and he's a good choice for student president. What is it? Class rep. But yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time when I really, really hope we get to see Aizawa in action. <laughs>